name is Tina. Today we are going to talk about the uh, coordination in animals. Coordination. What is coordination? Coordination is various body organs working together to respond to a stimulus. And what is this stimulus? Stimulus is the event that causes a response. It can be from internal or external environment. For example, when a person tries to hit us, our body moves backward. This is the response caused by the external stimulus. And uh, in animals, control and coordination are performed by the nervous system and the endocrine system. First, we're going to discuss about the nervous system. Nervous system consists of two parts, central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system are divided into brain and spinal cord. Brain and spinal cord. Spinal cord travels through the vertebral column present in our vertebrae at the back side of the body. And I'll show you the diagram of the nervous system here. Uh, and peripheral nervous system are the nerves that is projecting from the uh, central nervous system. And the, this peripheral nervous system is again divided into two parts, somatic and visceral or autonomic. Somatic is controls the involuntary action. Somatic controls the voluntary action and visceral or autonomic controls the involuntary action. Voluntary action moving of our hand. This is voluntary and controlled by somatic and visceral digestion inside our stomach. This is done by the autonomic nervous system. Heartbeat controls by the autonomic nervous system. Let's discuss the basic structural and functional unit of the nervous system. This is neuron. Neuron, I will show you the structure of the neuron here. The rounded structure, rounded like structure, that is a cell body and the fibers projecting from that cell body are called the dendrites and exon, the tube like structure, that is the exon. And this cell body are similar with most other types of the cell present in the body uh, because it contains nucleus and cytoplasmic organelles but it lacks centrioles. Because of the lack of centrioles, these neurons are amitotic. Amitotic means they are unable to regenerate when destroyed. And now let's discuss about the neuromuscular junction. Junction, this is the site, specialized site between the motor neuron and the muscle fiber. Let's take an example of muscle present in the hand. Motor neuron, it carries signal from the central nervous system to the muscle fiber and uh, when I try to contract my hand central nervous system send a signal through a motor neuron and that signal is transmitted to the muscle fiber by forming a neuromuscular junction and I'm, uh, we are able to contract our hand and the synapse synapse is a gap between two neurons